I'm Libby from Bleed Zone, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to bleed your texture hydraulic brakes. If you've ever experienced spongy, unresponsive brakes, it's likely that you have air in your brake system, and you'll need to properly bleed your brakes to get them working safely again. I'll be showing you the simple bleed process which you can do yourself. It'll save you time and money from a trip to the shop. You'll need mineral oil, syringes, tubing and adapters. One is for texture models with an alternate style caliper, a bleed block, and then two hook and loop fasteners, which you'll need to peel apart. You'll also need a T15 Torx wrench, Allen keys, and a 7mm wrench. Place your bike on a stand. And remove the wheel so you can easily access a brake caliper. Then remove the pad retaining pin. Remove your brake pads to avoid contamination because the slightest amount of oil will ruin the pads and cause them to squeak. Remove the caliper mounting bracket for better accessibility. And then insert the bleed block. Our hook and loop fastener can be used to secure it in place. Reposition the lever so that it's parallel to the ground. Then use a T15 Torx to open the bleed port. Double check that the syringe is smooth before screwing the adapter and tubing into the bleed port. You're now ready to bleed. Fill your syringe roughly halfway with oil. Hold the syringe upright and pull back to clear the tubing. Then push out as much air as possible. Open the bleed port at the caliper using a T15 Torx. Screw the adapter and tubing into the bleed port. Some Tektro brake caliper models do not have a bleed port, and you would attach our tubing without the adapter to the bleed nipple. Then our hook and loop fastener can be used to hold the syringe during the bleed process. Slowly push oil through the fluid line from the syringe of the caliper. The system should now be free of air. Remove the adapter and tubing from the bleed port at the lever. Then close the bleed port with your T15 Torx wrench. Adjust the lever back to its normal position. Remove the hook and loop fastener and the adapter and tubing from the bleed port at the caliper. Remove the hook and loop fastener and the bleed block. Close the bleed port at the caliper using the T15 Torx. Remember to thoroughly clean your brakes to avoid contamination before putting your brake pads back into place. Screw in the pad retaining pin. Remember to reinstall the caliper mounting bracket. Finally, reinstall your wheel. Pump the lever a few times and your bike is ready for a test ride. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helps you bleed your brakes with ease. 
Don't forget to give a thumbs up if this was helpful and to subscribe for more content on how to bleed.